Part three. I have these cactuses and succulents here that are just beautiful. Like they really are. I love these guys. They got white at the top. And they have grown so big. I don't, if you guys, again, if you guys follow my videos, you'll know. Um, for an example, this straw flower used to be on the top. I wanted this cactus really bad, but I couldn't find one without the stupid flowers glued on it, so that's the only one I could get. Alright, here I have a Venus flytrap. It's growing very well. Um, let's see if I can find a new one. If you can see down in there, I don't know if you can, I don't want to set off any traps, but there is some new growth down in there. There's two little new leaves. There's one, and the camera won't focus. Can you see that other one right there? The sun's glaring off of it. And then there's one growing in right there as well. So he's growing really well. Um, with these carnivorous plants, make sure you water them with distilled water only. Here's a Persian shield. Oh my god. I found one of the ladybugs. I almost knocked down my shooting star Hoya, so we had to move locations. But here's my Persian shield. This one also loves water, and this one also gets misted every morning. Along with that nerve plant and that Madagascar jasmine, I forgot to let you guys know. It's a cactus that's supposed to get uh, purple or pink flowers around the crown of it. Here's Cecil. I got him for a free plants by mail, and his hair reminds me of an old man, and I had to give him glasses and name him Cecil. <laughs> um, here's Optimus Prime. He hasn't really grown any since last time we saw you. Here's a goldfish plant. He's actually a lot happier. Um, since last time, uh, he wouldn't grow. Now, as you can see, he is growing indeed. This guy that I kept having a problem keep happy, my purple passion plant, he is getting ready to flower. There's a flower right there. Um, there's more in there. I remember seeing more in there. But he wasn't happy, I thought. And now he is going to flower. So that's really exciting. Here's one that's actually about to flower, about to open. So that's super exciting. I'm really excited about that. I hope they're orange or yellow. There's my purple fashion. Up here, we have my philodendron Brazil. I love this plant. Uh, it would not get happy. Um, but now, it is. the other philodendron was really happy up there, that one with the really long arm. So I figured he would be too, and I put him up there, and sure enough, he is happy as a clam. The sun is pretty bright. You can't really see it very well. Here's my Hoya. What will you do when calamity strikes? He's not Survival doing very well either, and I really don't know why. But for my poor Swiss cheese vine. This guy was growing so well throughout all my videos, and now he's not. He's turning yellow. It's so tragic. Look at this. Look at these leaves he's lost. All these leaves that he's lost. It's so unfortunate. I don't know what's going on. I tried planting him in a bigger pot. That didn't work. I tried giving him new soil. That didn't work. I tried not watering him. That didn't work. I tried watering him. That didn't work. I don't know. It's so sad, though, because he was so happy before. So I hope I figure this one out, because this one's rare. Like a scene from the end. Then we have another Hoya here. This one was also dying of root rot, but it is in a full recovery almost. It's so amazing, and I love it, and it's great. Here's an Ethereum. It uh, is a plant that I got on clearance for like $3 because it was all chewed up by the birds. Um, he's flowering a new flower soon. It's pretty cool. Uh, let's see, here's a leaf that's chewed up by the birds. All right, over here we have my silver philodendron, or some people call it a silver potos. Um, doesn't really matter. I almost want to call it my suede plant because he feels like suede fabric, you know. Uh, this plant is so pretty.